Hello and welcome back to Firestorm Games. You're joining us for another episode of The Hobby Table, where we'll be showing you how to quickly paint Aventus Firestrike and his Toralon. Before painting the miniatures, I primed using some of Games Workshop's spray paints. For the base, I used Mechanicus Standard Grey, for the Toralon, I used Corax White, and for Aventus, I used Retributor Armor. By spraying on the base coats rather than painting on with a brush, we can save ourselves a lot of time. The first area to tackle after the spray are the blue areas of the miniature, and for this we want to start off with a base coat of Cantor Blue. These areas include the cloak, robes, reins and also the chest panel of the Toralon. I would recommend applying this paint as a couple of thin coats to ensure the best coverage. For our next step, we'll be painting the saddle, belt, straps, gloves and cloth beneath the armour using a Baden Black. The next area that we'll be painting will be the red areas of the miniature, which include the helmet plume and also the cloth beneath the saddle. For these areas, we'll be using Mephiston Red. To paint the wrappings around the staff and also the Toralon's mouth, we'll be using Screamer Pink. For the soul flask hanging at Aventus's waist and the small orb atop his staff, we'll be using Thousand Suns Blue. The next couple of steps will involve only painting the Toralon, and we'll be starting off by painting its teeth using Rakar Flesh. Continuing with the Toralon, we can now start to paint its horns using Mechanicus Standard Grey. For the Toralon's mane and tail hairs, we'll be using Rhinox Hide. Take care not to overspill too much onto the white base coat of the rest of the Toralon when applying this paint. The final base coat to apply to the Toralon is Dryad Bark, and we'll be applying this to its hooves. With most of the non-metallic base coats completed, we can now start with some metallic paints. First of all, we will be painting the armor panels of the Toralon using Retributor Armor. As this is the same base coat that we added to Aventus, you can also use this paint to touch up any mistakes that you may have made. Continuing with the metallics, we'll next be using Lead Belcher to paint all of the steel areas of the miniature. With the Toralon's base coat completed, we can now turn our attention to the ruins on the base. We'll be beginning our painting of the stone texture with a dry brush of Dawnstone. To dry brush, take a fairly large brush, dip it into your paint and remove most of the excess onto some paper or tissue. With only a little paint left in the bristles, you can now drag the brush over the ruin. This will cause the lighter grey paint to only accumulate on the raised details. To paint all of the small fallen leaves around the ruined base, we'll be using Castellan Green. Once you've finished the step, you can affix the Toral onto its base, and it will make it much easier to hold when applying the subsequent washes. With our base coats completed for now, we can begin by applying our washes. The first of these will be a wash of Seraphim Sepia over the entirety of the armor. This and the subsequent washes will create shading in the recesses, which will help to improve the level of detail. Continuing with the washes, we'll next be using Agrax Earthshade over the areas that we painted using Mephiston Red, Screamer Pink, Mechanicus Standard Grey, Rhinox Hide, and Dryad Bark. The next wash that we'll be using will be Non Oil, and we'll be applying this to all of the blue and silver areas. The only remaining base coat to apply to our miniature is Ceramite White, and we'll be using this to paint a number of areas. These include the fabric and armor detailing, as well as the inside lining of the cloak. You can also use this paint to touch up any mistakes on the Toralon's hide. As white can sometimes struggle to cover over darker colours, I would recommend thinning down your paint slightly and applying several layers, allowing each layer to dry in between application. Our final step involves once again using Seraphim Sepia, however this time we'll be using it differently than before. First of all, you'll want to reduce its strength by mixing it in equal parts with Lamia Medium. Then, equipped with this thin Seraphim Sepia, apply this wash to the Toralon's hide. Rather than applying it all over the body, you will instead want to focus it directly into the recessed areas. By applying the wash in this way, you will see less definition between the lighter areas of the miniature and the recesses, giving us a much more subtle shading effect. The final result will be of a slightly off-white coloured hide. And here we have the finished Aventus Firestrike. If you enjoyed this quick guide to getting your Aventus painted and onto the tabletop in as little time as possible, then please do let us know in the comments below. And if you have any suggestions for future tutorials, let us know as well. You can find this miniature and all of the paints used in this video on the Firestorm Games web store for at least 10% off the RRP, and you can find a link to the site in the description below. And so we just want to finish off by saying a big thank you for watching this video and we hope to see you again on Firestorm Games.